That was fun. Oh, oh, we go for oh, oh, I can't get out of my head. And this song has been in my head courtesy the fact that it's flooding my social media feed. Can you say once, oh, oh, we go? Oh, oh, we go? Well, this has been a very, very high energy moment and I'm glad I'm in trainers because I can bounce and dance. I wish I had joined the fla flash mob though. Well, just look at that. Zero to hundred in 8.3 seconds and an anxiety free range of 456 kilometers. Now as somebody who's been driving EV, most of you know that as my primary vehicle of commute, I cannot tell you how much I have waited for this day and this moment. 456 kilometer anxiety free range can only be truly felt and appreciated by somebody who's in the EV mode. So it's, uh, it's a very, very special day for me personally. And I'm sure it's going to be a special day for each one of you once you've had a chance to look at this fantastic offering. So are you ready to get your hands on Mahindra's very first electric SUV? That doesn't sound very exciting. Okay, you know, um, not only is it this incredible anxiety-free 456 kilometer range, but it's also the fastest accelerating made in India car in the market today. Can we please hear a big round of applause for m, &M? <sighs> Every inch an authentic Mahindra SUV. The XUV 400 is stylish, peppy, and so much fun to drive. Trust me. So, without further ado, let's welcome on stage Rajesh, who will tell us what's gone into this journey and what the future holds for us. Rajesh. Hi, good evening everyone and thanks for being with us here today in Chennai in person and those of you who are watching us live online. What a fun evening and Gul, you've really set it up well. I wish I was a dancer but it was great to see a flash mob and it was also great to see the quality of the talent that went into making of the webcast, all in-house talent. <laughs> Cheers to them. There's that famous line, you can say, we also make cars. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, you know, we are learning, we have other talent and uh, competencies. Maybe that's a part of making cars. Uh, so, great to be here this evening as we kick off this journey. A journey which uh, we think is going to take two, three, four months, but we thought today is an important milestone. It's an important milestone because tomorrow is the World EV Day. And we said, what better day than today to reveal what we think is going to be a market-busting concept. Uh, you are going to hear more about it as we go along, but today is about us telling you all about this new XUV 400. When we look at the market opportunity, we're going to look at it in two buckets. One is market segmentation, but second is about customer segmentation. So let's take a look at what market segmentation is about. This in very simple terms is how the market is segmented today. The C-segment SUV market is around 32,000 a month. The B-segment SUV market is of course larger. What you see on the blue dots out there is the current electric vehicle penetration. You have two C-segment brands, one representing 0.2% of the market, the other representing 0.7% of the market. On the B-segment, you see one electric vehicle brand, which represents just 3.5% of the market. The market opportunity for us is to drive penetration across the B and the C-segment offering. We believe that what we have, and you'll hear more about that, is a very strong C-segment SUV, and we'll tell you why this is a very strong C-segment SUV. 
what our research indicates to us, and we've done this across a large sample size, when we ask consumers, what do you think your next vehicle purchase will be? 25% of them rank electric vehicles at number one. It's as high as that. So SUV buyers and SUV intenders, when we ask them, what do you think your next purchase is going to be? 25% say it's going to be electric vehicles. That's how large the opportunity is. But really, products create categories. And we believe we have a product which is going to be a category creator. And the reason I say that lies in the second part of why we think this is a big opportunity, and that is customer segmentation. When we look at understanding customers, in very, very simplistic, non-jargonistic terms, we think there are three broad types. The first type of potential electric buying customers are those who are multi-vehicle households. Somebody in the household needs a vehicle for a short distance usage. Maybe a doctor going to his hospital or dispensary or a lawyer who has an office close by. That's one category of the market. There's a second category of the market which is looking for value for money, economics out of buying electric. And that's an important segment as well. Total cost of ownership, so on and so forth. But really when we think about where the opportunity really lies, it's in the third category of customers. Where electric vehicles becomes part of their personality. That's what you saw on stage today. That's what you've seen in that video a little earlier. It's about self-expression. It's about a freedom. It's about Breaking away from stereotypes, it's about expressing yourself. And what you see up on the screen are images of customers of that type. Customers who are living a life true to themselves, who are very authentic in the way they think. They are a self-taught generation. They're learning to leverage the power of a community. They love fun, and that's what our brand is about, but yet they care for the climate. So it's that generation of consumer who we think is going to be a perfect fit for us because it's that adrenal rush where age is only a number. So we're not into segmenting the market by saying 18 to 24 or 24 to 34 because we believe age is a number. That's a demographic for statisticians. Uh, there are many people old like me who still feel age is a number and uh, we are potential buyers for a product of this kind. So what you see up here now is our SUV purpose. And our SUV purpose is about who we are. That's our brand DNA. Our brand DNA is about making life an adventure. It is about living boldly while still caring for our planet. It's about creating sophisticated and authentic SUVs. And being adventure ready. Now, when you connect the consumer you saw earlier with our brand purpose, you can see that there's a very, very seamless automatic match. There's a match between this consumer whom we are targeting and what our brand is about. And really, hence, we believe this whole positioning around fun, while still being very socially and climate conscious, is really something which is going to resonate extremely well in the marketplace. Because fun for them, these consumers is about being with people you love being with. That's what you saw in the video. It's about that experience, that experiential journey where your car or your vehicle is an enabler to that. And the XUV400 is a brand of that kind. It's packed with almost everything that a consumer would want. What you see up is a best-in-class acceleration. Gul just spoke about that. 8.3 seconds, 0 to 100. Best-in-class technology, we'll hear more about that. Uh, safety, range, space and style, it's, you'll see soon that it's very, very, very competitive when it comes to space in the C-segment SUVs. So it really has acceleration, range, space, safety, technology and style, and all of that put together. And what we are going to hear more about is the reasons to believe 
some of the statements that you've seen as supers on the video or as statements from me. You will see more data coming in from Velu with Pratap explaining the design philosophy and the design language and of course you'll see the vehicle as well. We now will look at some of the timelines so that we calibrate what we are trying to do here today. What we are going to talk about right now is you're seeing the product reveal, we'll get the media drives over the next couple of days. We're using the next two months, October and November, is something we call a fun fest for customers. We create multiple engagement programs for customers to experience what the 400 is like, what owning an electric is like. We think this is a very, very important part of this journey. When you're trying to create a category where none exists, you saw the penetration rate. In the C segment, it's less than 1%. In the B segment, it's 4%. The opportunity for us is to get customers to experience what this is about. We will then start test drives in the timeline of December. And then through Jan, we will go through a process of price, bookings, and deliveries. So that's broadly the plan that we have. And with that, I would like to invite Velu on stage to take over and explain. Gul, are you supposed to do that? Yeah, come, please. So Gul to come on and invite Velu. Thank you. Life is an adventure that you can live while caring for the planet. I think that was a really big takeaway for me. Uh, and it deeply resonates with me. The market busting capability of this vehicle and the category creating capability is something that I'm sure you all will agree with once you've heard what uh, Velu has to say. Now, everybody's been talking about how electric is the future. I'm sorry, electric is the present, it's here and now. But I think it's time to delve into what's gone into the making of this electric 400. It's something that we all want to know. Now, M&M is known for coming out with brilliant true blue SUVs, which are technology high and have safety at the core of their heart. Well, let's hear it from the man himself, Velu. Please welcome on stage, Velu. Good evening. Good evening. So ever since Franklin Benjamin flew a kite into the thunderstorm tied with a key knob, he got a shock and then he found something called electricity. So he got electricity from thunderstorm to keep off. That's 270 years ago, 1752, and now we are in 2022. It took this much time to get the fun course he was doing fun with the kite. Now we will do the fun with the cars. So let's see. Let's see where does this XCV 7 W take, uh, XCV 4 W takes you, but it doesn't shock you. Unmissable presence, SUV, SUVness, performance, safety, fun, fast, electric, no shock. No shock in the range. No shock in the performance, no shock in the reliability. That's our goal. When it comes to unmissable presence, let me compare it with <coughs> the C-segment cars. Rajesh said 1%. That's before the launch of this vehicle. But after the launch of vehicle, you see 1%, where does it go? Uh, you see this. You see these, these dimensions, no-brainer, widest car, among the best in the height, the length, and the wheelbase. The mathematics, you can crunch the numbers and you can find it out. But one thing is very clear, though we are comparing with the passenger car, ICE vehicles. So let's compare with the EV vehicles, though happen to be, they happen to be the imported vehicles.
Sorry, I have some problem. Give me a second. Can you roll back? So this happens to the ICE vehicles that you see, and then now this is the electric vehicles. What you see is, again in the electric vehicles, what is imported, that you see a fantastic um, proposition of the vehicle, unmissable presence when it comes to the overall width, overall height, and the wheelbase, and the overall length. So next slide, please. What you hear, you see again. Okay, give us uh, one minute. I have to search it out, please. Can you go back the ice comparison, uh, the EV, EV comparison and the TN comparison? Yeah. So this is uh, one vehicle which is best selling in India, but what you see here is the length is for 4,000 meters, the overall height is uh, 1,616 meters. But uh, millimeters that you have here, 1634 millimeters, uh, way above the uh, the best-selling competition locally made. Uh, you can see the overall width, and you can see whopping 100 millimeters in the wheelbase. That gives the best-in-class first row and second row the leg distance, uh, leg room. When it comes to forward visibility and side visibility, the XUV 4W possesses the, the highest seating position of 664 uh, millimeters, um, the seating height, uh, the, uh, the hutch point, and therefore that gets you 24 degrees forward uh, visibility angle, and then side visibility of 56 degrees, the best in the class that you can see. And I have taken the EV vehicles uh, for comparison going forward all the three vehicles because you already seen with the ICE vehicles we are much better off. Uh, side visibility second row again we are much better off. Seating height we are much better off uh, with uh, 664 vehicle uh, millimeters. So when you have the right wheelbase and the right seating position of 664 millimeters you expect the cabin space and the cabin comfort to be the best in class. So what you see here is uh, 1,021 millimeters of headroom and a legroom of 1,051 millimeters, best in class. Compared to the best selling EV uh, in India, you have uh, nearly uh, close to 50 millimeters that you are better off in the legroom. That is the most important thing that you notice it uh, from this uh, slide. The boot space, uh, what you see here, because of the 4.2 uh, meters, you have 418 liters uh, measured up to the roof. And uh, compared to any other benchmark, uh, you have the best in class uh, boot space. So headroom, legroom, boot space, you are a best in class. When it comes to a ride and comfort, as you know, Mahindra does not leave any stones unturned. And I have already told about these two technologies in my Scorpio N presentation. So you have two technologies, frequency dependent damper, that means number of obstacles uh, in the given ride distance, and the amplitude of the uh, obstacle in the uh, drive maneuver. So you have MTC, MTVCL valve technology that helps you to dampen as the height of the obstacles are going down, going up. That helps you to absorb it. 
if you have multiple obstructions the frequency dependent damping that helps you so both the technologies have been brought to this vehicle when you mount the battery it is so important that that inertia of the battery is not amplifying the vibrations that is coming from the obstacles on the road and these two technologies were brought specially for so therefore the xuv 3w does not need it but xuv 4 dollar needs it and that's the main reason that we brought it uh, next slide please It, when it comes to performance and range and the battery pack, we already heard from the, uh, from the speakers 8.3 uh, seconds um, for 0 to 100 uh, kilometer. Um, that's the best in class. Now, here is what you see, the 39.5 kilowatt hour battery. Uh, that gives the that gets from the highest cell energy uh, density of 330, uh, 237 watt hour per kg uh, the best in class uh, energy density that you can it has a two dual uh, vent valve back design uh, that helps the back design is nothing but in case there is some problem with the battery uh, cells in the cells you have electrolyte and they start um, uh, oozing out as gases because the temperatures are higher and you need the ventilation of the battery very very quickly we don't have one but we have two for safety purposes and therefore it is a very safe design that we have packed it already you have a chiller when you are 43 47 degrees centigrade in order to cool the battery pack you have a warmer or a heater when your temperature goes below minus uh, 10 degrees and, and minus 20 degrees you need to keep battery you have to keep it its operating temperature of uh, plus or minus 20 degrees in in this range you cannot uh, exceed in these limits to uh, keep it safe and that's why you have chiller and heater and dual wind walls uh, you have a, a 50 kilowatt charger so that charges you in 0 to 80 in uh, 50 minutes uh, best in class again and you have a Ramanujam's number here, it's very easy to remember. What is the range of XUV4W? It's four, five, six. Just like, just, just like the Ramanujam number of 1729, that's the taxi he used to go. Uh, Hardy, GH Hardy used the taxi number to go and see Ramanujam when he was hospitalized. So you remember this number, four, five, uh, six. So that's the best range. Isn't it, this is the highest number ever you heard in the B segment and C segment? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And 8.3 is the lowest number that you heard uh, from anybody. Yes. And that's, by the way, 8.5% better acceleration than any car that is in this uh, segment. So that I'll show you a li little later. So this battery pack designed, conceived, uh, in collaboration with several partners, international partners. You saw it in the beginning of my slide, that's AVL. And it's done in none other than our Mahindra EV Tech in Bangalore. Their colleagues are here, and Pankaj Shonalkar is here. Give them the warm regards and compliments to them. They did the indigenous, locally made battery pack. It's manufactured in chalk and plant. Yes. Go ahead, please. Next slide, please. The performance range and e power trend, believe me, you will see it tomorrow and you will feel it. This is a synchronous motor. What's more important is 310 Newton meter. I keep telling to many, many people, don't worry about the torque, but worry about where it is delivered, at what RPM it is delivered. In the IC engine, we talk about turbo lag and we say 1750, I get a torque. But here you get a torque at 25 RPM here. I mean, where are we talking? 25, 5 RPM to 25 RPM, you are talking. Zoop, you ramp up to 310 Newton meter. You are not waiting for 1750 RPM. And that is more than sufficient for XUV 4 w to get it that the category that it, uh, the position that it deserves, 8.3 seconds in 0 to 100 km per hour. The thrill of accelerating 0 to 60 in 4, 4.2 seconds, you will feel it. Your adrenaline will pump up. You will feel the fun. You will feel the thrill, but no shocks. Next slide, please. Safety is the most important for us in Mahindra, and we take it very, very seriously. The safety has two components to it, the occupant safety and the battery safety. You will see very elaborate redesign of the BAW has been done. 
in order to achieve the passenger safety and the battery safety. Uh, you can already see it. All that red, blue, and green, they are all high strength steel that you can easily add up to 45% of our steel that is used is simply high strength steel out of which 10% of the steel got the battery pack. Can you see it? In case of any problem, the, the, the vehicle skids and touches somewhere the barrier, we do not want to uh, damage the battery and we give the highest strength steel available in the world that is 1500 Newton per millimeter square compared to what normally the mild steel that you see it is only 320 Newton per millimeter squared. You cannot just compare it. You can kick but your boot will be destroyed. So be careful. So that's the, uh, that's the pack that we use. Um, you know the loads that are coming in the frontal crash, you have to take care of 280 kilo joules, you have to take care. You see, I have already introduced for the EV vehicles, you need the uh, third uh, uh, support, in the bottom that you see, third load path, uh, which already come, uh, typical, uh, typically available in the born electric vehicles, which you see already, and it protects the passenger, and nicely the load is transferred to the rear, and from the rear cage it goes down to the whole body. So, uh, Frontal crash, the battery crash, uh, battery protection has been very well redesigned with the materials and the structure. Can you go to the next slide, please? So what you see here is, uh, again, the side crash, which is very, very important uh, when it comes to side crash. Uh, the previous slide, what you saw is the frontal crash. Uh, this reinforced structure is so important and it has about 25% of the frontal load, so you don't require to have a, a very high uh, 1,500 Newton per millimeter square steel, you don't have it. But you see in the bottom, it's completely reinforced around the battery, whether it is frontal, whether it is rear, whether it is side. What you see in the side, that side member is probably closer to the battery and therefore you have a thick sill running and protecting the battery. So when you are sitting in XUV4 double enjoy the thrill of 8.3 seconds and don't worry about battery hitting somewhere. Nothing will happen. The steels are there to protect. Armored, armored, uh, uh, armory is there around the battery. Next slide, please. Fun, fast, electric, live mode. So you have a single pedal drive. You can accelerate and automatically it uh, brakes and you can do the single pedal, you can keep driving and you can enjoy the fun. Uh, that's the purpose of this. Start, accelerate, decelerate, stop using the single pedal. Uh, driving simple, convenient and more engaging. Uh, that's the technology that we have introduced. Next slide, please. HMI features, very intuitive, monostable shifter, Intuitive user controls, very easy to understand. There are three drive modes, uh, fun, fast, and fearless. That you see the rotations in the anti-clockwise that you have noticed. This is not for logical people, this is for emotional passion people. So it starts rotating in the anti-clockwise and clockwise. Uh, next slide, please. Wow. So you have Blue Sense uh, theme infotainment, then embedded EV statistics, the charging, uh, how much is left, uh, the kilometer distance that you uh, available, and charging uh, uh, distance. So by the way, two, uh, 245 that is put here, if you make it full, then you will get four, five, five six. six. You got it. So. Uh, the complete EV statistics comes into the uh, cluster, so you don't require to be worried at all uh, what state of the battery charging is. Next slide, please. Connectivity is one of the biggest need of the uh, uh, EV vehicles. What you see here is the uh, BlueSense uh, connectivity that we have, navigation and uh, charger, uh, where it is located all the information that you can come. We have a telematic system embedded into this uh, infotainment system, so you, you get all, this, all the data is available. Next slide, please. With the telematics unit that is available, we provide 60 plus 
connected features, uh, vehicle controls, charging, headlamp on off, door on off, AC, uh, all these, uh, and then you compete and achieve. Uh, you get, you can see the leaderboard. You can see it, and you can come on the top of it uh, when you do uh, when you do the drive. You can plan the trips and using those 60 plus connected features. Um, it's really fun. It's, it's really made for fun. So let me say this XUV400 is a fun. It's an SUV. It's a fun, but very, very safe. And the safe from the point of view of driving and range. And all the best. Tomorrow you will drive it. And then drop me a message if you love the thrill of 0 to 60 in 4 seconds. All the best. Thank you. So it's fast and fun. And as Velu said, very, very safe. Uh, well, I love the way the XUV 400 looks. And you all see it. But let's hear it from Pratap, who will tell us what went into the design. Is it on? Is it on? I don't need that. Thank you. Thank you, Gul. Arushi and the rest of the marketing team, please, please don't put me after Rajesh and Velu. It's absolutely impossible to beat. You know, so next time I'm going to go first. Everyone having fun so far? Yes. Yeah? We go for? Omo! Amazing. Okay, today is not about style, it's about lifestyle. Welcome to this evening's news. Oh, no, I, I don't think I'm going to use this. <laughs> so, guys, I think, you know, I'm always incredibly happy to be at what I called, call is the temple of technology. Uh, MRV is truly a temple of technology. And every time I come here, and every time I follow Velu, I get a absolute science, physics, you can name it, I get a, you know, I wish Velu San was my teacher in school and college in science. I'm gonna, Try and <laughs> not compete, but at least come close to Velusan and use a scientific line. Electrons flow through copper at the end of the day. And that's why we chose copper as our accent color. That's why we've chosen copper to signify our EVs. And I'm so proud to say that the 400 is our first car that bears the electrified Twin Peaks logo, which is in a satin copper. It's incredible <laughs> that this incredibly beautiful car actually bears our first copper or electrified Twin Peaks. And like I said, today is not only about style, it's about lifestyle. I think what Rajesh showed in that one picture is a snapshot of all of us. You know, a vehicle is something that helps you realize, achieve, and live your dreams. And we say, you know, explore the impossible. And why should it be impossible to explore in an EV? There's lots of anxiety, this, that, and the other. And Velusan has just shown that you can continue to explore the impossible even when you are in an EV. And this is why this great product bears the Twin Peaks logo, because it's every millimeter of this SUV is a Mahindra SUV. There's no compromise in any of our characteristics. Now, of course, you'll have seen some of the images up front, proudly wearing the new logo is this grill which we've blanked off. EVs don't need the same kind of cooling performance as an ICE or ICE car does, SUV does. 
So we've blanked that off. When I talk about lifestyle, the people who buy and buy into EVs really want to announce and want to be proud of the statement they are making. They have bought an EV. You've seen the penetration. That means you know, less than 1%. That means 99 point something percent is an ICE product. So these people who buy the car want to express that they've gone and made this conscious choice of buying an EV. And that's why we've blanked off the front grille, we've blanked off the lower grille as well, to really signify from the front that you've, you have arrived in an EV. And that's very, very important. We spoke about dimensions, 2600 wheelbase. That is absolutely class leading in terms of legroom, in terms of dimension, proportion. We've underlined it, you'll see when the car comes out, with a beautiful satin copper line at the lower sill that really extends this car. And of course, the gloss copper roof. Uh, you know, it, it was a challenge for our color and materials team to develop that, but they didn't give up. And we have this beautiful copper roof, uh, dual tone, of course which offsets what we call this infinity blue body color. This infinity blue body color is unique to the 400. And, uh, you know, from miles away, you'll be able to see, you know, a 400 arriving. The other thing is, you saw again in, in lifestyle, people like to carry stuff. You know, in India, of course, but we like to carry stuff. When we make a journey, when we visit people, we have bags and bags and, and lots of stuff. So the kind of boot space we have, 418 liters, uh, I think that would be quite a challenge to fill. But it would take you, your, your family, your friends and everything else in that one car. So the boot space is something I would like you to, to notice tomorrow when you, when you drive the car, but of course when you see the car today. When we say C segment, there's also an image in people's mind, there's an expectation that the interiors have to have a certain quality, a visual quality, a tactile quality, and a general sense of being in a, in a larger space, in a more premium car. So we've gone all black, and again, that's something I would invite you to notice, but whatever you touch, so, for example, the air conditioning vents, or the single lever, or the, the dial for the HMI, those we've accented in the satin copper. So, it's just these little signals around the car that here is where you touch and here's where you adjust things. So, the satin copper theme from the exterior flows into the interior. And, of course, this lovely leatherette seat, very comfortable, perforated, uh, great place to be. And, you know, so you, your, your family, your friends, whoever you want to take with you, this is a real proposition. And, you know, we are so serious about, like Velusan explained, you know, this in no, in no way is a compromise. It's a true, everyday, usable product. And I think, and I hope, that when you guys see the car or when you see the SUV, you will truly understand what's gone into creating it from engineering, technology, brand, and design. And with that, you know, I'm going to end here and call Gul back, but we'll catch up a little later. Thank you. Thank you, Pratap. You know, I love what you said, that it's a conscious choice. With all you're packing into it, it's going to be the only choice. And I guarantee you, once you drive electric, there is no going back. It's just so much more fun than ice. Well, it's time to put your dancing shoes on. And um, we have a very, very special presentation for you. I have my dancing shoes on. So get ready to welcome the super talented Kings United.
will not be televised. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only getting started now. Cause we own ya. Just not a thing they know me now. Cause we own ya. You and I'm a homie now. Yeah. Cause we own ya.
oh, 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 we go, we go We running on the streets We going for the race We the best, let's cut to the chase Oh, oh, we go for, oh, oh Electric is the grace Live big, just feel the space Jump in on the base Oh, oh, we go for, oh, oh For, oh, oh We go, we fly We love, we ride All you desire Gentlemen, I'll request you to take your seats. There will be an open house and that will be your opportunity to ask questions of Velu, Rajesh and Pratap. I request you all to please take your seats. Uh, the gentlemen on the stage taking pictures, may I request you to please take your seats. Thank you.